Lose your 
turn to Matthew chapter 14. I'm going to read from verse 22 to 33. Hallelujah. When you find it, you say, Amen. If you can't find it, it's on the overhead. Hallelujah. What a God. What a God. Come, and he said, Come. And Peter 
And when Peter was called down out of the ship, he walked on the water Amen. to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind that boisterous, he was afraid and began to sink. And he cried, saying, Lord, save me. The reason for this, don't lose your vision of God. Keep your eyes on him. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Come on, um, worship him, come on up. Don't lose your vision. He's there to save. He's going to save us. Irrespective of what he looks like, the way he looks boisterous this morning, he looks boisterous in our yesterday. But who is in the way with us? Jesus. Jesus is in the way. So stay focused with him. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep your eyes on.
Your word says that you would supply all that we need, and you have done that. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you have done that, Lord God, for providing jobs for us. You've provided homes for us to live in. You've provided vehicles for us to drive. You've provided health and strength. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All that we have is from you. Nothing that we have is not from you. You have blessed us beyond measure. And today we are obedient and we go to you what you have asked us for.
Shall we bless the Lord? Down to the higher ground. Hallelujah. Thus saith the Lord, 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And no intimidation, no fear in the mighty name of Jesus, no anxiety. We release a fire that is around, this rush from the consuming in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the fire God, hallelujah, that is in the belly, oh God, begin to burn, hallelujah. And let him minister, God, as I would have him minister and speak as he would speak in the mighty name of Jesus. And so we deliver him into your capable hands in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God. And the church said, Amen. Amen. This is your house. Yeah, yeah that's, it. that's it. That's it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We bind the spirit of God. Yes. Amen. We bind that spirit this morning. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This is your house. So come and dwell. This is your
this afternoon for each and every one that is in this congregation this morning. Amen. Bless you. Another Sunday morning. Amen. I tell you, God is doing something in this season. Amen. And if you're not God, then you're in trouble. Amen. Glory to God. This message was from last week. But when the Holy Spirit moved, you just have to relax. Amen. And it's the same message this week. Amen. And if you could turn your Bibles with me this morning to St. Um, Matthew chapter 3. And it's just two verses to you this morning. Hallelujah. One and two. Glory to God. And he said, in those, and he said, in those days, King John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Amen. Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Turn to your neighbor this morning and I said, Repent. 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 For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Glory to God. We might look at it and say, You know what? The Lord is not ready. He's not ready. He's not ready. We, we see the signs. We see the wonder. We see what is happening. And we see the Lord is not ready. But if you look carefully, you will understand that the kingdom. Of heaven is at hand. So when we look at the word repentance in the Bible, literally mean the act of changing one's mind. Yes. True biblical repentance goes beyond remorse, regret, or feeling bad about one's sin. Yes. It involves more than merely turning away from sin. And as the Bible dictionary said, it inc included the definition of repentance, it said, it is the it is the fullest sense in a term for for a complete change of, yes. of direction a judgment upon the past or re, re, redirection for the future. So when you repent, you cannot go back where you come no. from. No, amen. You cannot go back where you come from. He said the spirit of repentance must come from within the heart. Amen. amen. The heart. Amen. The heart. Amen. That's why the Bible said, guard your heart. Yes. The heart. Yes. So he said, before you can genuinely um, connect with God, you have to follow the true meaning of repentance. Amen. He said, in the Old Testament, repentance, repentance are wholehearted. Turning to God is a recurring theme in the message of the prophet. Repentance was demonstrated through rituals such as Fasting, yes. wearing sackcloth, sitting in ash, wailing and lament that express strong sorrows for sin. The ritual were supposed to be accompanied by authentic repentance, which involved a commitment to renew relationship with God, a walk of obedience of His word and right living. Often, however, these rituals merely represent remorse and a desire to escape the consequences of sin. Yes. And if you remember, if you could see where the Lord is doing, if you could see the topics that we've been preaching, day in, day out. Repentance. Amen. Consequences of sins. Yes. Glory to God. He said when the ancient prophet beckoned to the people to repent and to return, they were calling for a complete turn around. Yes. Come on. Complete turn around. It's an inspired from within the heart and with the individual. He said the prophet called both the nations of Israel and individual, individual people to surrender their life to God, to turn from a life ruled by sin. Hallelujah. And if you look in the book of Genesis chapter 4 verse 7, the Bible said we have the power to rule over sin. Yes. Sin is lurking at the door. You have the power to rule over it. Glory to God. And he said, the, he said to our relationship with God, the sovereign ruler over all, even now, this is the Lord declaration. Turn to me with all your heart. Yes. With fasting, weeping, and mourning. Turn your heart, not just your clothes. Yes. And return to the Lord your God. Amen. 
for he is gracious and compassionate, yeah. slow to anger, yeah. abounding in faithful love, yeah. and he relents from sending disaster. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. He relents from sending yeah. disaster. Yeah. We always hear the term, the Lord will destroy without a while. Yeah. Yeah. We've been getting the messages day in, day out. Repent and turn. Yeah. 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 So the thing Chapter 3, verse 2, and Jesus Christ, Matthew 4, verse 17, both urgently called people to repent because the arrival of the kingdom of God was at hand. Many choose this radical reordination to their lives and demonstrate repentance through baptism. Mark 1, verse 4, and profound change in lifestyles and relationship. Glory to God. You know, when I was just thinking about this message last week, you know, there was something that came to my mind. And when you really think about it, those who are from the Caribbean, whenever somebody is promoting a part and, 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 and the posters, there's a sign, to me is to this. Yes. That's what the sign said. But with God, it's no miss to this. Or oh, if I miss heaven, it would be better if I were born. That's what the Lord is saying in this season. And I have to understand that. And we see it through this in Matthew chapter 27, verse 3. It describes the guilt of Judas. Oh God, for betraying Jesus. And he said, Then Judas, which had betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the 30 pieces of silver. Uh, glory to God, to the chief priests uh, and elders. Uh, glory to God. And when you look at 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, uh, he said, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, uh, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, things uh, become new. So when you keep your life to God Almighty, you have to change your part, uh, the direction that you are in before you come to God. Uh, you cannot say God and yet you're by the things of the world and that is what is happening in the church today. We want the world. We said we want God. We want Satan here. But I'm here to tell somebody this morning. The Bible said repent and be converted and change from the wicked ways. When you repent man turn. If it was a 160, you turn to a 360.
serve God. Then we say we serve God. But in the end of time, we will know who we serve God. Glory to God. Glory to God. That's why David said in Psalm 61 verse 4, 
season where we have to fast and pray. We have to devote ourselves to prayer. The Bible declare, man, he said we must devote ourselves to prayer. We must be watchful. We must be thankful. He said, what's the use of the Lord? The enemy is going to come in. And he's going to come to tear down the church.
sometimes it's hard for us to yes. pull out. Because we want to speak. Yes. And God did not tell us to speak. We love to say we want to tell him a piece of our mind. But let your mind stay on Jesus Christ. Let your mind be in Christ. Let your mind be in Christ. Let your mind be in Christ. Sit up on Jesus Christ. Sit in Jesus Christ. We associate 
Be careful. Be careful. So the Bible said, John the Baptist, hallelujah, preached of repentance, was meant to be a star of a brand new life. Uh -huh. Continuous the life of producing fruit uh, in keeping with righteousness. Uh, he said, our family tree will earn us a place in heaven. And give us an automatic claim to God's promise. John told us the Pharisees and the Sadducees who took pride in their lineage to take a more humble view, just as God made Adam from the dust of the ground. God could raise up children of Abraham from the stones of the wilderness. One has to understand that in this season, oh glory to God, the Lord is not playing. There is no more time. It's either you keep the program or you are left behind. So we have to understand the glory to God that when the Lord said repent and be converted, you need to change from your wicked ways. We have to change from the path that we were heading into and change to righteousness. Oh, the Bible is telling us this morning that if we don't repent, likewise we will perish. In this season, God is calling us to be truthful man. God is calling us to preach the word in season and out of season. The Bible is telling us, man, that we should go near and preach repentance to the nations. Tell people that Jesus Christ he is coming back. He said, if I go to prepare a place for you, I'm coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. The Lord is coming back. The Lord is coming back. In 2 Peter chapter 2, the Apostle Paul, the Apostle Peter deals with the problems of false prophets and teachers in the church. Hallelujah. He draw a detailed pictures of all these pretended believers operate as so-called Christians can discern your method and message and avoiding and he said and avoid falling victim to near destruction one has to understand the devil are you some people out there they know the Bible from the back to the front and when they come and tell you the Lord said if you're not discerning you're going to hell with them because the enemy has said
verse 17 to 20. He said, likewise, he said, likewise, many people, he said, likewise, many religious people, they have intellectual knowledge of Jesus, but not heart level experiential knowledge that, that would cause them to fully surrender their life in obedience to Jesus Christ as Lord and our Savior. And you can see that in Romans chapter 1, Romans chapter 10, 1 to 4. So many of us just want what God wants to give us. And when He gives us, that's it. The nine leopard, one return to say thank you. And many times you're in a situation and we cry out to God. And we say, God, if you deliver me, I will serve you. What has to understand? Be careful of the vow you make to God. Because he's going to hold us yes. so, Israel, so, so, so the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they wanted what God had to offer. Yes. But they didn't want him. No. They did not want him. They did not want him. That's why they have to surrender to the Lord in obedience. He said they refused to obey. Thank you. 
Peter, he said they have rejected the whole truth in God's word from the Old Testament to the New Testament, including the gospel of salvation. He said in Jesus Christ, they have resumed their sin, fulfilling the way of life, and returning to what disgusting like a dog revisiting his body. My son is trusting the Lord. Yes, yes. He wants us to hear. He said, in today's culture, dogs are beloved pets of most. But they were despised in the ancient world. Dogs were in power, forced food from rotten flesh and garbage. And were not regarded as pets. In the Old Testament, Dogs were, conce were, were considered unclean, yes. reporting, even doing, scavenger. Yes. Exodus chapter 22, verse 31, verse 10, 14, 11, and you can read it. It says, Jesus used dogs and pigs as a metaphor yes. for unholy people yes. who would mock, reject, and blaspheme the gospel. We present it to them. Glory to God. Is it part also compares false prophet who has infiltrated the church to dogs? One in Christian to watch out for these dogs. Yes. Those evil doers. Yes. Those manipulators yes. of all. Yes. Those who come to destroy us. Yes. Those who come to tear us down. Yes. Those who come to speak and cast curses upon our life. Yes. And if you can look at Philippians chapter 3, verse 2, we have to understand beware a false prophet. Yes. Beware a false teacher. Yes. If you want to know what half a relationship is, for yourself. For yourself. For the Bible says, so big, man. Yes. For him. Yes. Submit. So we don't know how to submit. No. We don't know how no, no, to submit. Yes, yes. We submit to idolatry, yes. but we don't know how to submit yes. to the living God. Yes. Israel had a firm view of the power yes, yes. of Jesus Christ that provided for them in the wilderness. Yes. That made a way when there was no way. Yes. God is making a way for us today when there is no way. But yet we turn yes. our backs on him. We become ungrateful. Yes. We become revengeful. Yes. We are a bit of thief. We are not fearful because we're robbing the church. Mm -hmm. We're robbing God. Yes. The Bible says he are cursed with a curse. And if the Lord curse you, we're oh, If the Lord curse you, we are in trouble. Oh, the Bible said, He are cursed. Which are cursed? Oh, God. Oh, We're robbing tithes and offering. Yes. We're robbing tithes yes. and offering. Yes. We have to get our words in our yes. We have to get ourselves at the place where Jesus wants us to be. Glory to God. Look at the same churches. Oh God, the mighty the book of Revelation. It talks about the church that falls asleep. Are we the church falling asleep? It talks about the church that has the false prophetess. Yes. The false leaders. Yes. The first man and woman of God. Yes. That come and say the Lord sin. Yes. When the Lord did not sin. We need to have a church that is not free to go down and repent. Yes. Come into the house of God. Go down on your knees yes. and repent. Don't free to cry out. Come on. Come on. Come on. He says the church that will suffer persecution. You're living from God, you're going to suffer. We have to have suffer. Yes. Yes. You have to suffer. Yes. You have to embrace it. That's why the Bible says rejoice Lord, in patience. Rejoice in tribulation. Yes. Rejoice yes. constantly being in prayer. Yes. Staying in prayer. Yes. Right. Yes. 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 Yes.
Seek the first love. Yes. We forsake the first love. We forsake the creator. We forsake our Lord and our Savior. We forsake the God that took us out of trouble. We forsake the God that provides for us day in and day out. We forget the God that said he will allow the rain to fall on the just and the unjust. We forget the God that heals us from sickness. We forget. Thank you. 
perfect word, perfect timing. Amen. And God, eyes are open towards us. Yes. Nothing happens that misses his eyes. Nothing happens that he's not aware of. Amen. And so we thank him for being that good father we know he is. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Brother Rayon, for being obedient to the Spirit of God. I trust that he will use you many times over. Hallelujah. To bring out compromised work. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask those of you that were not here last week, uh, if you could just please be on the outside. Amen. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you all the glory and honor and praise. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your love. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you that you sit upon the throne of this house. We're subject to you in every way. We thank you for what you have set up for God and set it for you. We thank you that no weapons that have been formed against us has prospered. Glory to God. We pray, Father, that you remit this message to the spirit of your children. That each one will take it personally. And even during this seven day fast, God, we'll live out that life of repentance. Yes. And show fruits of that repentance in the mighty name of Jesus. We are subject to you in your word, in your spirit. And what you send to your church, Father, is well. And so we commit it to your hands, Lord, the hearts and the minds and the lives of your children. Watch over them, give your angels charge over them to keep them in all their ways. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Amen.